and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a series of Effie Stonem from Skins Hairstyles. I already have done this iconic look and a lot of you guys really liked it, so I thought I would bring back some of my favorite hairstyles for more nostalgia. We also do have makeup and some outfit inspiration in this video as well. And if you're new to my channel and you love TV and movie character recreations, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell notification button so you don't miss an upload. And before I get started, I wanna know in the comments who your favorite Skins couple was. It can be like from any season Season. I want to know your faves and let's just get started. This first look isn't the most iconic out of the three, but a style young Effie would rock during her wild nights out. Starting with my natural hair, I'm using a micro crimper today. I've been looking for one of these for forever for volume, and this is the Avanti Ultra 5 Wave Ceramic Crimping Iron from Trade Secrets. I also have a link down below to it if you want to check it out. So first, split the hair into two and we're going to work from bottom to top. My hair is pretty fine, so I'm using a product called Puff Me Light Volumizing Cloud Mist and I'm lightly dusting this into my roots. Without teasing, this product doesn't do much. It has a bit of an odd texture, so you don't want it just sitting in your hair, but it really helps when you do a bit of back combing. The crimper is heated up and this creates little ridges again that when lightly brushed out doubles your volume and when it's teased it's easier to get that tease that lasts especially if you have kind of slippery straight hair. And you can do this crimping just at the tips of your roots. I'm going to add some crimps quickly down all the way to the ends and you can hold this for not even a second and it will create that texture. This heats up so fast. Bulking up that bottom layer and the real volume is going to be up top. Taking down this top layer and you can already see how much more body my hair looks like it has. So this is a great tip if you want to wear your hair straight but have a bit more volume. Just add some of that crimp and teasing throughout the bottom layer. And divide the top layer and we're going to start again with the puff me and then crimping and teasing the base. For texture, you could also use a dry shampoo or a texture tea spray, but I liked this one because it doesn't add too much crunch to the hair. I could brush it out and work with my hair the next day without washing the product out. And I am loving this. Finally, let's create the poof by teasing in a couple layers. This may look lengthy, but up until this step, it's only been about 10 minutes in real time. So crimp, tease, and you can go real big or keep it more wearable. It's up to you and then gather backwards, slightly twist this hair and then add an X with bobby pins so that it stays in place. And add two more sections backwards, leaving out some face framing pieces. To make my hair length more like Effie's, I'm curling the ends towards my face and I'm pinning up. This is actually pretty easy to do, especially when you have a strappy top to wedge one of the pin curls to. And then once you have one that's really secure, the rest are easy to pin and just kind of hide the bobby pins underneath the layers of curls. Finally, to finish off the Effie vibe, I'm using this Root Retoucher. I do this a lot in recent tutorials and I'm just spraying through the length because I do have some old balayage and this will make it definitely appear more like Effie. This is not great for your hair to do every day, this Root Touch Up Spray, but if you want to temporarily change your hair color a bit for a day, it works amazing. You were always taking time, baby, playing it through. Time to start look two, Effie's fishtail braids. So here's the texture after taking it out of the first style and brushing out lightly. Gotta love the mini crimper. And this is where we're going to texturize with the bedhead manipulator. This is a hair styling product with low hold that gives your style high separation if you want it to. So that's how I am going to separate a strand over the forehead and I'm adding a bit of this product as well throughout the hair as a braid to help define the strands. And then for a fishtail, divide the top layer of your hair into two. 
and pick up a small section from the outermost strand and cross over to join the other section. Repeat this motion and incorporate a small section from the underlying hair as well to create a French fishtail. While this might seem a little bit challenging, it is really simple when you get it down, so the same crisscross motion of a normal fishtail braid, just don't forget to pick up a small section of hair to the outermost section before you cross over. And after a couple French fishtails, add in some more texture balm if you do like to work with products and then finish off with a normal fishtail. Keep the braid tight and use small sections to get a similar look to Effie. Again. I would do anything at all. No and use a small plastic elastic to tie off the ends and rough up the texture by bringing your hand back and forth over the braid. And of course, repeat this on the other side. Ooh, ooh, I wanna take you As for an outfit, go with a muted worn in tee and a leather jacket of course is an Effie staple. Makeup, I went for a barely there lip shade so I used Revlon Bare Affair and then the base makeup is pretty similar to the iconic Effie tutorial that I already did but just a little bit more smoky and worn in. Last style, I think it's the most iconic hair look with the headband. So I've started by adding this black beaded headband across my forehead. And with the Urban Decay glitter liner, I'm bringing in some more silver sparkle to pick up the light. And this headband has forever been at Claire's. It's super cute. And I'm parting my hair opposite to how I usually do. And because I'm obsessed with this crimper, I'm adding a couple of teased and textured sections. And let's just start to curl. You can curl large sections of hair with a medium barrel, and if you have layers already in your hair, just shake the hair out, add some sea salt spray, and you should be good to go. Curl in the same direction for a uniform wave in the end. And once I have the top curls pin curled, I'm going to pin up quite a bit of length as I curl by using the elastic of the headband to wedge in the bobby pin for a secure style that lasts. Once I'm liking how it looks, I decided to add some Macadamia Texturing Salt Spray for more grit. This smells amazing and I'm always trying new sea salt products moving into the summer and I really love this one. And Effie's ends were not ringlets but more straight, so I just used my crimper because it was right here to flatten out that curl pattern. You could also use some of the straightener. And there is my final Effie look. Vote in the poll which look was your favorite. And this beauty look, I lightened it up a bit on the eyes, but I did add some extra silver shadow. Uh, this one is a NARS shadow stick. And then for lips, I used Revlon Pink in the Afternoon, just blotted over the lip. This top is from ASOS, and this looks great with leather pants, which is actually what she wore. I hope you'll try out these iconic Effie hairstyles and if you do or just try out some of the tips then be sure to take a picture and tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I love to see you guys switching up your styles so here's a couple recreation photos that I've been loving. So thanks for showing me and I'm honestly obsessed with this thing. This mini crimper, oh, game changer for very fine thin hair. Uh, if you want volume, you should definitely check one of these out. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you wanna see what videos I'm up to. I will have everything linked down below as well as all the products used. And I think that's it. Yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.